I was shooting a movie with Guillermo del Toro, and Guillermo said, well, you should contact Kazu. I personally didn't think that he'd ever want to do it. <laughs> and then, of course, Lenny, the divine intervention, Kazu then shared with me that he's been always fascinated with Leonard Bernstein's iconic face. With Kazu, Bradley set out to not do prosthetic makeup unless it would look like a real, fully formed human being. And so they went through three years of working together to make sure that the looks of Lenny were really representative of what he was in every decade of his life. Bradley said, oh, okay, I want to do a camera test and I want to do the whole stages from one to five at the Disney concert hall in Los Angeles, <laughs> okay? And he said, Gustav Dadumel will be there to help him to conduct and Steven Spielberg will be there too. We did all of the looks and I wanted to conduct in those looks just to see if it didn't look like an SNL sketch. And Kazu looked like, you know, he just ran like two marathons in a row. Imagine that, in one 24 hour period, he did all of the looks. Technically, there's the five stages, 25, 26, up to 71. And the old stage is a different kind of uh, application. Youngest look took about two hours and 15 minutes. And the last stage was about five hours. It was completely covered with including arm and body suits and everything because we had to also change the posture of the body too. Bradley would occasionally send us text photographs and show us the progress of his being transformed into Leonard Bernstein at different ages of Bernstein's life. And my phone rings, and it's a FaceTime from a 310 number. And it's my father. <laughs> it's my father. I, I just couldn't stop laughing. And it was Bradley. Hello, I'm Lenny. I felt very naked and, and exposed. And I felt fear when I would make that transition into believing I'm Lenny. As soon as he went to change the costume and came out, it was just Lenny. Once I would show up on set, that was it. That was just sort of Lenny the whole day. And that would occur at some point through the process of makeup. And it always sort of happened when I would go put the wardrobe on and then I would come back and I would like open the curtain <laughs> and then I would just start talking like him. Even like this, I was looking down. And then you read it and you'll see all yeah. that. Me feeling like they all believed that I was Lenny, that was like a huge blessing. If the summer doesn't sing in you, then nothing sings in you. But summer does still sing in me. Not as strongly as it used to. Uh, I was often, but it sure does.